What is happening guys, it's your boy TC back with another video. So that was a very, very disappointing defeat in my opinion. Uh, we're looking certain to hold out for a draw under the circumstances. I'd have actually taken a draw against Man United, but of course it didn't work out how we obviously wanted it to work out. Uh, we ended up conceding a late goal, uh, courtesy of Marion Fellaini. And uh, as soon as Fellaini came on, I did kind of think that um, essentially we were going to be uh, conceding a headed goal. And from that point onwards, Man United were pressing us from the wings, getting their crosses in. So let's just talk about our starting eleven on the day. Uh, in goal, we had Ospina. Uh, at right back, we had Hector Bellerin, who continued his duties in that particular position. In the centre of defence, we actually saw Mavropanos make his debut for the club, and uh, as well as in the Premier League. And to be fair, it was quite a, um, a nervy start for Mavropanos, but we'll talk about that shortly. Uh, as well as uh, Callum Chambers uh, partnered him in defence. At left back, we saw Kolasinac coming back into the team. In the middle of the park, it was Granit Xhaka. He was paired with Maitland Niles. Up top, we did see uh, Iwobi, uh, Reese Nelson, as well as Mkhitaryan, and as well as Aubameyang as the, uh, the lone striker. So Aubameyang pretty much had a very, very lonely game. He was getting in behind the defenders but really it was basically fighting for scraps nothing really happened so as I said uh, the score was essentially 2-1 uh, on the day initially Man United of course took the lead and it was courtesy of uh, Paul Pogba he started the move driving forward but the goal or there was a foul actually to the lead up to that particular goal and essentially it was quite a questionable foul and this was on Reese Nelson and um, essentially I thought it was a foul I did believe that play should have been stopped at that stage. But the ref obviously uh, didn't stop the play. Man United started to drive forward. And uh, Pogba drove the ball forward towards our 18-yard box. And eventually, uh, the ball was ended up crossed in. It was crossed in by Lukaku. Alexis Sanchez got ahead onto it. Luckily enough, I didn't want him to score, of course, Everyone would have absolutely hated him scoring against us. However, Bellerin got a touch and he actually hit the post and Pogba tucked it in. Of course, it's not nice when we concede goals. Uh, so Man United led. And at that point, I was thinking, right, are we going to be facing another 8-2 defeat here at the hands of Man United? Because it was quite an early goal. I think roughly about 15, 16 minutes in, they ended up scoring. And I was thinking, are we going to have a very, very long afternoon? But from that point onward, the team actually settled down. The defence settled down. There was a few mistakes at the start of the half itself or the first half itself from the defenders but we sort of settled down got rid of the mistakes and we were playing as a unit and we were essentially catching Man United on the counter where they were obviously pressing us as the home team as expected from the home team they were essentially pressing us and we were catching them on the counter we were breaking absolutely magnificently well in my opinion um, I was impressed with what I saw from Reese Nelson but there's one part of his game that we do know that he has within his locker. He's not taking people on in the Premier League. Of course, we've only seen him a, a couple of times or so. But today, one thing that I noted during the game that he wasn't taking people on as he does in the PL2, uh, essentially running towards people, dribbling, stepovers, etc. Of course, he has to be a bit more cautious within the Premier League. He is playing against a much more experienced bunch of players. But I was kind of disappointed. On a lot of occasions, he was finding himself in space by having to wait for support to come through. So that's something that I'd like to see a bit more from him. However, the performance itself was okay. Uh, Mkhitaryan ended up getting our equalising goal. Of course, uh, the celebration was a bit muted, uh, as you expected. He received a, uh, a round of applause from both sets of fans when he left the pitch, when he was replaced. And um, essentially, uh, with the game pressed on, we were set old, we were holding out for a draw. It was announced that there was four minutes at the time, and um, eventually... Man United had a goal ruled out, rightfully so, and it was Marcus Rashford. It was another header from Fellaini, which struck the post, and Rashford was uh, was in place to tack it back in, but unfortunately, he was offside on the occasion. And then I thought, right, we've got away with this. Let's tighten up a little bit. Our, our concentration sort of lapsed within the last five minutes of the game. And before you know it, Man United could smell blood, and they knew that their goal was going to come through Fellaini. Fellaini essentially was actually camped in our box. Eventually, a good cross came in from Ashley Young from his right foot, and it found the head off Marouane Fellaini, who was in place to actually just tuck the ball into the back of the neck. Ospina had no chance, and uh, essentially Fellaini was marked by three defenders. 
Mavropanos didn't even jump uh, when the ball came in. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened. He must have been overpowered. Shaka was right in there as well as Cullum Chambers. Shaka in Chambers made these sort of mediocre challenges to try, or try and jump for the ball and put him off. Of course, we know Fellaini is known for his uh, aerial ability. He's good in the air. Uh, but three people, surely they would have done a little bit better in my opinion. But it doesn't matter now. Of course, we ended up losing. We still have not won away in 2018. Are we going to finish the season off? Not winning, um, not winning away in 2018. It's yet to be seen. Of course, there are a few games left within the season. So hopefully that's not going to be the case. So as usual, guys, please do let me know what you think in the comments below. If you are watching this video and do not subscribe to the channel, please do make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. So once again, guys, it's your boy TC from I'm Gonna Talk TV and I'm out.